Hi guys, I would like to show you a few basic exercises to prepare you for the stretching flexibility seminar. Most of them are stances and one of them is a yoga posture that we're going to use a lot in different variations and different forms and I would like for you to learn it as well. Okay? First stance is a voice stance. The way I want you to think about it is one leg faces in one direction, the other leg faces 90 degrees away, like so, right angle, and the body is right in the middle. Okay? Voice stance. The hips are as low as the knees, the body is straight. Okay? So I would like for you to start working in this position, holding it for a minute and up, doing a few different sets. If you can, do a minute and then wait and do another minute, that's great. If not, do maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds. Wait, do another 10, 15, 20 seconds. Okay, the whole stance. And do it maybe two, three attempts. Okay? So this is the voice stance. Next one is one lunge stance. Lunge. Front leg, chin vertical. 90 degrees at the knee. Back leg is almost straight. Body is vertical. Okay. Do it on one side for almost as long as you can, right before the breaking point. Stand up with sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay? So this is the one stance. Do two times on each side and work after three times on each side. Okay? Now the next position in the warrior three, what you do is you keep the body in the back leg in straight line, you lean forward. And you keep your body and this leg parallel to the floor. Okay? Do it for about 10, 15, 20 seconds. Switch the legs. Do the same thing on the other side. And do it two to three times on each side. Okay? So we have the horse stance. We have the lunge stance. And we have the warrior suey. Okay, so go to the three position. Next one is warrior two. One leg directly to the side, almost 90 degrees, but not quite. The other leg is not at a right angle, but slightly pulled in. Okay, you can keep your arms out. You don't have to stay in this position for as long as you can, and then switching sides and holding it the other direction. Okay. Warrior two. Okay, so this are the positions that you need to strengthen your muscles in those ranges. Okay? I also would like you to do one of downward exercise, the reverse crunch. To do that, you would lie down on your back, bend the knees, lift the feet off the floor, lift the hips and bring them back down. If this is too easy, you can cross one leg over the other, do it this way. Two to three sets, do as many repetitions as possible and stop a few repetitions before failure. I also would like for you to master one yoga position, the downward facing dog. We're going to use this position a lot, we're going to do many different variations from this position, we're going to work many different angles from this position, so I really would like for you to master it. Downward facing dog looks like this. You are in hand and knees first, and then you lift your hips and extend the legs. Okay? Now, here my head is in line with my arms, and there's a straight line going from my hands all the way to my hips. Okay? My heels are on the floor. My knees are locked. Okay, I would like for you to practice this position because you can use the lot, it's going to be very important uh, within the next three months. Okay? Uh, if you're one of the people that have been asking about the kids for dancing or martial arts, a lot of leg circle should also be practiced and we're going to build down a lot on this exercise and exercise to use a similar muscle. Pilates leg circle is very simple. One leg comes up, you bring it over without lifting the hips, 
Bring the leg down, out to the side, and up. Do it a few times in one direction and then a few times in the other direction. The goal here is when the leg comes over, for the hips not to lift, for the hips to stay glued to the floor. So do maybe 10 to 15 repetitions in one direction, 10 to 15 repetitions in the other direction. In standard Pilates, it's usually not done as many times, but we need, we need it for different purposes. You can start with five repetitions, three sets of five in one direction, three sets of five in that direction. Switch legs, three sets of five in one direction, three sets of five in the other direction. But then build it up to three sets of 10 or 15 repetitions. Okay, so this is the basic exercise that you need. I don't want you to worry, we're going to do a lot more different exercises. We're going to do a lot more different programs and variations. This is just the basic that I need you to do to make sure that you're ready for the seminar when it gets started. I'll see you there.